What's up everyone? Welcome back to another travel vlog. If you're new here, my name is Jess and this vlog is going to be all about the Amalfi Coast of Italy. We just made it to Capri and I'm so excited. We flew into Naples this morning from Paris, so if you guys can check out the Paris vlog, I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check that out. And this is just going to be vlog number two of my European travel diaries. Do a lot of walking uphill to get here. I'm gonna link the place that we're staying down below. I believe I booked it through booking.com. Now we're just settling in, cooling off a bit. It's a little after 5 p.m. so we'll have this evening to explore the area, get some dinner, walk around. So many cats. The next morning now it's our only full day here in capri we had a really nice night last night a really great dinner we went to a place called lo sfizio really delicious it was only like a couple minutes walk from the bed and breakfast that we're staying at actually which is great i'm gonna try to do as much as we can we slept in a bit this morning so i definitely needed the sleep but now i feel like we're starting the day kind of late but we'll make it work and try to do as much as we can here in capri here's a little patio that is a part of our bed and breakfast a little cloudier today there is a chance of rain but we're hoping it just isn't an issue <laughs> right now we're walking up to the Villa San Michele. We're working up all these stairs to get there. Just so make sure you have good walking shoes in Capri. There's a soccer field right here and then in the background is the water and the mountains. And then we're walking in this direction and there's literally a road on the side of that mountain there that looks really cool. steps to go. 
this has a lot of snares. The walk up here was so intense. I'm insanely sweaty. And we definitely could have just taken a bus up here because there's a road. But we still have to actually go up just a little bit more of these stairs here to get to the Villa San Michele, but I'm <laughs> like out of breath. It was really nice, like the views, but I don't know, like I would definitely take the bus. After many stairs, we have made it. We're walking through Anna Capri now. We're gonna get some lunch. If you want to tour the villa, then you have to pay 10 euros per person to do it. But we decided not to because it's just a tour essentially of the interior of it. And we really just wanted to see the exterior views because we don't have too much time. It's raining really hard right now. We're trying to take shelter, but we're already so doing it. <laughs> Had a nice lunch at the restaurant right behind us, which I think it's pronounced L'Angelo del Gusto. We had homemade lasagna, they had homemade pastas there, and it was pretty good. It stopped raining. Maybe we'll stumble across some gelato on the walk. Now it's like a perfectly sunny day and hot. On the chairlift now it's really cool it's only one person per car it is 12 euros per person for the ticket it's a 13 minute ride up You can walk down. You can hike to here. You don't have to take the cable car or the chairlift. I just got a, a lemon slushie and we're waiting for the bus. We're gonna take the bus back to Capri from Anna Capri. And we did the chairlift, which was so cool. I would definitely recommend doing that while you're here in Capri. It was really nice when you got to the top and just like while you were doing it, the views were really awesome.
here's our Airbnb that we rented for Positano. We just took a bus up here, 30 to 40 minutes for the bus. Here's our, it's kind of like a loft. Our bed has a kitchen. And it has a nice, decent sized bathroom here. We just made it to our Airbnb in Positano. We took an 11.15 a.m. speedboat from Positano Jet from Capri to Positano. Went smooth and I think it took around 40 minutes maybe to get here. 20 to 25 euros, something in that range per person for the tickets. When we got to the port or the marina at Positano, it was very crowded, but we just took our luggage up to the bus stop. 150 euros per suitcase, a euro 30 per person for the ride. We took the bus from Piazza dei Mulini to Piazza to Capella. The buses can get kind of crowded, so just be aware. We're staying at the Casa Lolanda and I booked it through Airbnb. It was pretty affordable for the area. This was one of the cheaper options I could find. It's just further away from the beaches, so we'll see how we'll navigate that, but I think we're gonna be using the buses a lot while we're here. It's a little after 2 p.m. now. We're gonna go get some lunch at a restaurant that's up the street from our Airbnb and just go about our day. I think this is gonna be a little bit more of a chill day of our trip. Here's the outside terrace of our Airbnb. Little table there. And then we have a beautiful view of the mountain. And looks like there's a soccer field right here, right next to us. We just had an amazing lunch at Il Ritrovo, which it was only just a couple minutes walk from our Airbnb. Now we are walking up right next to the restaurant. There are these stairs, which are gonna lead to a really nice viewpoint. I would definitely recommend that restaurant. Eggplant Parmesan it was amazing. It was definitely the best one I've ever had. And then we got a little dessert. I had a lemon cake with strawberry and it was absolutely delicious. We're walking up some stairs right now. Hopefully it's not too many. We're walking up to this Buco di Monte Pertuso. Stairs are looking a little beat up at this point. This is very cool, definitely recommend it. It didn't take too long once you get past all the stairs. It's the next morning now, so it's our first full day here in the Positano area. But we're actually gonna be going to Amalfi, so we're gonna take a bus from Positano to Amalfi. We're gonna get some breakfast first. We're staying in the Monte Pertuso area, which is about a 30 plus minute bus ride down from like where the beaches are in Positano. But we're just gonna try to walk. We're gonna walk to a breakfast place, then go to the bus station, take the bus to Amalfi. Also check out Ravello. views from the walk down. Got a yogurt bowl, pancakes, and an acai bowl.
up to Ravello and it is like a mob scene here I mean it's kind of been like that like all over the Amalfi Coast which I was kind of aware of before we came that it's very touristy and very popular but nonetheless we persisted and got onto the bus and made our way up to Ravello and we're gonna tour the Villa Ruffalo walk around check out this area and then we're gonna head back down towards the town of Amalfi walk around there a bit seven euros per person It's the next morning now. I decided to just do a chill day. I'm not on any schedule or plan. It's already like almost noon. We're gonna have a beach day. Really looking forward to it because we've just been go, go, go nonstop. So it'll be really nice to just have a chill day. We took the bus to Piazza dei Molini. We're waiting outside of Casa e Bottega. We went we actually ate here yesterday for breakfast, but we're gonna do our like late breakfast lunch here, our first meal of the day again.
beautiful view for our last night in Positano. It's the next day now and we just made it to Naples. We just have basically like the afternoon evening here and then we're leaving very early tomorrow morning to head to Santorini. I'll show a little bit of Naples. We'll walk around, get something to eat, get some pizza of course. We just checked into our accommodations. It's at the Duomo Central Loft. I booked it through booking.com and it, it's only costing us 50 euros for the night. The guy checking us in was very nice. They were just very hospitable. We took the ferry here from Positano. We did the NLG line. It was Positano to Capri and then we had to transfer at Capri to another ferry which took us to Naples. I think it, overall it was around an hour and 45 minute journey. It's around 1 30 or 1 45 p.m. right now so we have a good amount of time to walk around Naples and explore. I've been having so much fun filming these. These are just my favorite videos to film because I love having them to look back on and we just kind of go about our day and I pull out the camera, get some shots of what we're doing and hopefully you guys find it helpful. Insulito La Pizzeria Gourmet and we just got a fried pizza and it is huge.